Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, CTO of DVS, and today we're going to look at a brand new offering from Hype Vision. Behind me, Hype Pro Connect, an online service that can really benefit you and your customer base by giving you a much more professional, centralized monitoring system compared to the existing Hype Connect uh, app that you use now. So we're going to run through the process of you. So Hype Connect Pro, stay tuned. But for those of you that want to get some merchandise, bam! All you have to do is go to the link below in the video, purchase your merchandise, wear it with pride, and then tag us in some of your videos in the real installer gallery that we provide. We're also gonna do a quick competition. We've decided to have a load of DVS branded RJ45, RJ11 crimpers made. Why not? So the, we're gonna give away five of these. Um, all you need to do is comment in the video. We'll pick five winners at random and then send them out. And that's all you've got to do. But through the year, we actually sell these. Uh, so if you want a pair of these DVS branded crimpers, get in touch with your DVS sales rep. But if you want to be in with a chance just to win a pair, like I said, just like, comment, share, and we'll pick five winners at random. And then through the year, we'll just give random pairs away. So stay tuned. I'm going to transfer you through to a PC now where we can show you the web function and also the app function itself and how this will benefit you and potentially your customer base. It is a paid service, so you do have to uh, you know, do a, a subscription for this, but stay tuned. Okay, and welcome back. So first thing you need to do is use the web portal and register. So you can see here, just register using that. If you just open up a web browser, any web browser, uh, type in Hike Connect Pro or Pro Hike Connect or whatever, it'll find the um, web uh, portal. If you've already registered, great. You input your email, password there, and click login. If you need to register, click register. Uh, fill in the applicable details wherever you are in the world. Now, the authentication code, you can get that from DVS if you're a DVS customer. If you're not a DVS customer, please speak to Hike Vision or your distributor. And if you're not inside the UK, then please speak to your Hike Vision rep again or your distributor. We will generate a authentication code. So please provide the email that you're going to register this with. Uh, we'll generate an authentication code, email that back. So you do that via your sales guys um, or ladies, and we will then generate the code you input that code fill in the details and click register so very very simple if um, also you can do the tree uh, try free demo so the free demo um, it'll just give you a, a basic um, sort of you have to still have to register it gives you an overview of the site um, you don't have to pay right now let me go back to the login so if you do the demo you get uh, like a 30 days I think it is now currently just to, to trial it um, this system like I said before is a paid system it is licensed so there's sort of three um, ways you can use this a cost costed ways you can do this so I've already already registered so I'm just going to click login to take us to our uh, portal the first thing we'll do is quickly show you the PDF so there's a lot of PDFs here so I can send you these PDFs again just to uh, drop us an email through your sales rep uh, at DVS, and we can send these PDFs out. They've already got them. It sort of explains the architecture of Hike Connect Pro, uh, Hike Pro Connect, however you want to call it, Hike Pro Connect, and then uh, how it works, how you can use it to your advantage, uh, future um, planning, because we've sort of been heavily involved, should we say, in the development of this from this um, conception with a lot of our customer base, given a lot of feedback, driven it to where it is now. This will uh, constantly improve. I've seen the things that they are going to introduce into this moving forward, and it really will sort of offer a really good advantage to you to offer to your installer base, uh, almost like a software as a service solution, where currently we're offering like the health monitoring, the additional users, uh, using this as a centralized monitoring in one place, but then moving forward, once we get uh, the additional features that we have fed back and really think this will um give that uh, advantage to you and your customer base. It also provides that cross device linkage. So if you have two devices that are separated to each other, but you wanna use a, an alarm from one to generate on the other, you can actually do that through this Hike Pro Connect as well. So you've got that cross, like, like cross device linkage, as well as the health monitoring, the additional users, etc. But again, these are license based. So if I show you quickly, so we've got these two PDFs, and again, it shows you the advantages. So you've got the co-branding, the flexible linkage across devices, real-time monitoring, how it sort of works. So two PDFs you can send to your customers to better understand it. 
And then if I open up this quickly and go to info one. So again, this is the basic pack functionality. So it's free one to 1024 devices is free. Um, but you only get this sort of functionality here. Again, I've blanked out the cost because I don't think it's fair for us to show this as a distributor. We can give this to you via your sales team. Um, but you know, some of you guys will choose to add this to additional services you offer to your customer base. So then your end customer that could view this video can't sort of question you on that. I don't think it's fair that we do that. Uh, again, so the device quantity, annual cost per year or network camera. So two different costs, because if you do a DVR, NVR or direct network camera, and again, you, with this cost, then you get this additional health monitoring package functionality with additional uh, users, co-branding and unlimited devices, etc. And then again, if you want the employee account add on. So if you need more accounts to be able to share these from a central location out to your customer base, then again, there's set accounts so one additional five additional or 25 additional. And again, we can provide these as required. So really, really simple. Okay, so once we've registered and actually accessed the web portal itself, uh, it's really uh, nice and easy to use. Again, there's, uh, if you go up here, uh, business, uh, service package. So I'm signed in as Dave Davis, I've already registered. So the service package, you click on there and again, it gives you um, sort of the details of what I can do within this. Click on home. Uh, wizard, if I click on this box here, or the trial period, this, this is basically saying on the 1st of September, I need to start paying for some of these additional functionality. For now, it's just in a trial period. Question mark, again, use a manual or wizard. So you can use either of those to guide you through the process. It's pretty intuitive if you understand how connect if you've used that before it's not too dissimilar um, and again if you click on the account there on the drop down you've got the account set in so basic information and change password you can do the height connect device migration so you can migrate an existing height connect account into the height pro connect so click on okay fill in the details and click login i'm just going to add two new devices but again you can migrate existing device account into into this here about feedback and log out so very very simple to use um what are, what are we gonna do so first thing you need to do, click on home so we need to create a site and again you can have multiple sites for uh, different customers different sites it depends on how you want to call this whether you want to do it by region by customer um so again it's really up to you so click on site i've actually generated a new site here so click on that and it'll give you the details um of that site then i've invited nobody so there are the details i'm the site manager and again this is the details but if i click on site again i can create new site give it a name time zone site address city state pro uh, province etc and sync time zone to device so if you add a new device it'll sync it to that time there from, you can create multiple sites here. Once you've done that, you can invite another site owner. So it could be another colleague of mine or a customer. I can actually um, add the device from there or I can create linkage rules or delete. So there's lots of like quick shortcuts from each menu to make this really quick and easy to navigate. Now, under health monitoring, health status, I've added the site, but I've got no devices added yet. So because I've got no devices, I don't get the health status or the exception center. So what we'll do is go to site, uh, click on my site here, and we're going to add a device in. Now I've got two devices up here. So here I've got two NVRs, which were on an existing Height Connect account, which I've deleted in preparation to add this to the Height Pro Connect. I could have done the migration, but I got a lot of devices that I don't really want to migrate into this. So I'm just going to do two individual ones, and now we can do the cross linkage device, etc. So add device. So the first thing is online device. So I can scan my local network. The two devices I'm going to add aren't on the local network. They're on a segregated CCTV network uh, still in the building but on a different LAN so I'm going to click on manual add-in so the add-in mode is height connect IP to name or batch import so it's a height connect device the device serial number of the first one so we'll go to here and then we'll go to system oh, system settings and we'll take this as the serial number here nine digits copy that input this and paste now the device verification code, I always set it to that, just for testing. Or you can click on how to get the device serial number verification code, click that and it'll tell you how to get this anyway. Click next. So it's, it's found the device now, testing compatibility. 
and it'll tell you if you need to upgrade or not. So it's saying it's compatible. So if, if the device is an old and you needed to upgrade the firmware to make this compatible, then it would tell you to upgrade it. Some older devices may not have the firmware to upgrade it, but it would tell you here. So now we're going to click on add. So there's a tick box there saying enable health monitoring service. Yes. Click add. And we're done. And so I'm also going to add another device. So click on add another device. Uh, manual add-in, Height Connect Pro. Again, a different device. Come to this one here. So we'll come to the second tab. Take the serial number here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is a slightly older device, but on the current firmware. Again, for testing, I put that there. Click on OK. Testing compatibility. You can also do the batch import or the device you know, migration. It really depends on how you want to use this. This is just sort of the easiest way I find. Again, click Add so it's compatible. Click Add. And we're done. So click Close. So I've got two devices added online now. So really simple. And you can keep doing that um, as, as much as, as you need to. So two encoding devices, no security control panel. So we don't sell the security control panel in the UK, but I know in Europe and uh, Asia, they do sell that. No access control device. But again, you can add the uh, video intercoms, etc. Uh, applicable to the access control device, video intercom, um, doorbell. So, you know, all of these modern devices are compatible with this high Pro Connect. So I've got my two NVRs added here, both are online. Again, I can click on the edit, change the name of them if I want to. Again, don't really need to. Um, health monitoring service is enabled on both. There's the details. Now I can click remote configuration, just like Hike Connect using IMS 4200. Uh, you can go into the remote configuration. It's taking its time a little bit because uh, it is on a separate network. Again, so there we go. So now we've got the uh, interface so we can scroll through that and make any changes necessary. So pretty straightforward. You've got your add linkage rule, live view, or click on that, and then you've got your alarms. Um, DDS is not configured and delete. So with the DDNS, you can click on that, enable DDNS. So after setting DDNS, when performing func functions such as remote configuration, live view, playback, health monitoring, linkage rule, the platform will connect to the device according to the DDS rule. So if you're using port forwarding, so on this device here, I've, I have done the port forwarding externally. So I can click on this, click on this, enable DDNS. So it's manual port napping, service port 8001 and HP port 1, username, admin, and type in the password for the device, click OK. So now it'll connect to the DDS via the port forwarding, so it makes it quicker effectively. So basically it, it, it makes it quicker. So if I go to remote configuration there, it'll load a lot quicker than using the peer-to-peer -peer connection so there we go so that you can see then that was much quicker uh, so where possible even though uh, we're using the height connect same as height connect if you do the port forward and it does improve you don't technically have to do it because it's a peer-to-peer -peer service so it will route through the, like uh, multiple firewalls and routers quite well but i do where possible promote the um port forward and still like the old ddns and then set it using this even using the height connect use it that set the dns it does provide a more stable notifications live view remote configuration they're all quicker it does actually give you a much more stable platform so i still promote that use there uh, this device here is just on height connect uh, without the port forwarding so i just have to accept this a little bit slower um okay so i can click on live view and then view some of the you know the channels that are on there again pretty basic functionality and you can do this through the the app or the vms or the, the web browser but again, these are the devices that are connected currently. Oh, there we are. Someone's moving around in the car park. Um, but again, quite nice little function. Um, two pages, and you get PTZ control as well. So if I've got a PTZ control here, so again, I can move that PTZ as needed because it's on port forward and it's really responsive. So pff, nice and straightforward, but still flexible. Okay, so two devices and I can upgrade device as well. So I can keep adding or I can click upgrade device. 
but they're both devices are on the latest firmware so no need to actually add or upgrade the device sorry linkage rule um so i got linkage templates intrusion forced entry alarm back to home office uh away visitor call in perimeter zone alarm uh, so basically add linkage rule so you can create it you can click on a linkage template if you want and do it that way or add linkage rule so i could say intrusion alarm output so you can see there what these sort of templates mean so it's quite really quite powerful so if i just call it uh oh, sorry linkage rule alarm so we're going to call it a blah, 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 blah. what doesn't really matter what i call it so dvs alarm test when uh we're gonna say this oh, we need to find one with a camera alarm du, du, du. that fish eye there so trigger following actions and then you've got the uh basically select resource on this one here so we're gonna say uh, trying to find one is interesting to be honest. I don't suppose it really matters. Yeah, white light PTZ, click add. So again, trigger following actions. When so linked resource again, you just go through it, add it, oh, capture is that one there, and then so you got recording capture alarm output so basically when an intrusion happens on that camera it can trigger the opposite recorder's alarm output so i want to say i could say all of it so trigger all alarm outputs on this nvr when that um fisheye intrusion detects for instance so it's that cross like cross device linkage i know that that was pretty basic that one but you can see there from the templates they become really powerful so you could like you know for especially for intercom calling etc so i basically said on this nvr when this fisheye vca detection happens so line crossing uh, well in this instance it's intrusion um it'll trigger the capture uh of that camera and then it'll do the output and recording on that device there so is that really that point-to-point -point connection referencing so and then you've got the linkage schedule all days or custom so you can choose what days it's active and what time or, or constantly so click on all the time click on ok and then we're done there you can actually turn this on and off as needed and you can keep adding these in so if you click on fold it'll tell you exactly the details in there and then you can go and change this you can add another one and say uh visit the call in so if a visitor's call in so linkage rule is like if you visit the call in when a doorbell rings trigger these actions and then do that so like you can create that device linkage which alert you to the fact that somebody's trying to call you on a you know from a different site uh, onto a different site from one site to another so it's that sort of cross like like link cross device link. i can't even speak today cross device linkage and you can keep adding these as required um again you need some of these need the appropriate uh, devices added but you know you can see how powerful that could be uh health status again so th there's my devices there's my linkage rule and then these are my exceptions so if i look at my ex ex blah, 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 exceptions you can say uh, unfold channels exceptions like enable also i've disabled them all currently but if i enable and then you can say click exception click on this one and you've got there the, the, the exceptions there how long so these ones are active now how long it has to be offline for and then received by so you can build up all of these you start building these all up so the exceptions then create an alarm to a specific user so if i say uh all exceptions so offline video lasts for five minutes yes uh received by recipient and schedule or you can just click on enable all to be honest and then it'll do that for all of them you can got the uh portal mobile client edit site manager you've got mobile client on email so click on ok so you can start seeing how flexible all days click on so all days or custom site manager install admin so you can see where these actually start going from each device so if something goes offline as a fault then again that'll start notifying you 
what we will do is instead of enabling that we'll go to this one here uh yeah offline for one minute or five minutes and we'll turn the device off shortly so site admin all days yep 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 uh, enable that okay done and we're happy on that one there so fold that up so we'll unplug this one uh, let it go off for five minutes and then we can actually see this in action so again exceptions linkage rule you can see how much more powerful this becomes over sort of the hype connect platform itself again if i want to invite someone to help own this i can click on invite uh, email or phone number site owner's email so i can say phone number or email and i can say webinar at dvs.co.uk site information management configuration so you can tell the permission permanent one hour etc so it's permanent there are my devices device live view yes and i can let them have that for permanently remarks uh help set up and testing and manage for instance click on okay invitation sent now i can go into that register that so there's two of us in there now um, which i'll do shortly before we move on to the next stage under health status you can see now under all sites under dvs site click on that and that'll give me the um health status of the two devices so network status online hard drive full which is typical because when they get full they, they overwrite anyway hard drive uses overwriting online hard drive full overwriting um i can click refresh there we go so that's gone away and inspected that and it's still saying it's okay again if i click on this one here um it, on the right hand side it expands it so it tells me now all the cameras are normal apart from one camera so i've added one camera to the system which has actually gone offline that's why it's red highlighted with one alarm uh, and then you can click on hard drive and you can actually see now depending on the hard drive in there you can see the sort of detail in there so hard drive one is normal 152 days normal the temperature hard drive free etc so it really is quite powerful when you start looking at what this can provide the customer click on that one and again this is all normal um this needs the because i haven't done the port forward into this you don't get as much information with the health check uh, so again if you really want to use the health check to its full com com capacity i would do the port forward in but again you can do remote configuration directly from there go into the device and then start changing, altering, etc. as required. And if I go to camera management there, you can see the bottom camera I've added, but it's actually offline uh, currently. So very true. Uh, I can only, I can display abnormal only. And then again, oh, let me untick that. And you can actually upgrade the devices directly from here and do the health check. So check now. So check the health status of devices in there. I'll check now, completed, minimize. So I've got one, like I said, that one's abnormal because the camera's offline. Site owner uh, can give it that, site manager, and then refresh. So really straightforward. And again, if you can build up your site, so click on your site, and you can have all your sites listed there. And again, all of your devices listed there. So it's really quite straightforward and quite neat. And again, up the top, you've got health check, notifications, business, you've got all the stuff at the top there. Exception center, click on that click on that click on that and you can expand these and it'll tell you all your exceptions as they come through as they were configured but so far um nothing has come through i'll go and turn that one nvr off and we'll see that come through company moving through company information so again uh, this dvs one company id health monitoring maximum employees all of my details there with my logo co-branding i've turned co-branding on and uploaded a logo so again when the customer uh, so the webinar one which i've invited they'll get that logo embedded in their app so it's really nice employee so add employee so i can actually add an employee here enter email uh webinar. Oh, let's do a different one so let's do marketing at dvs.co.uk administrator it manager site manager so you can do their whatever or add roles so click on add so there we go so again and you've got roles and permissions so you can actually add roles so they're the generic ones so the the ones that we it manager manage all sites uh, and you can add employees that that way so that each sub menu you can sort of go and 
you know, linked back to another menu. But you can actually add a role and then uh, give it the specific permissions. If you want to make your own role, do that. Operation log. So again, for Dave Davis, is everything I've done uh, in the last 30 days. Uh, so I could just do it today and click search. And then go through it page by page. So it's, everything is documented. And then the service package here, it tells you during the trial period, everything is free. And then you've got the, like once I need to start adding or paying for the services, you'd get all that. So it'd tell you recommended packages, health monitoring and employee package. And I'd be able to purchase that um, once the trial has ended. But during the trial period, which is till the 1st of September, I've got all of these functionalities. I know it's quite a lot to go through, but it really, we sort of do need to show you like how this really works. Um, to get the to the message across like so company information we've been for a lot next i sort of need to show you the app so i've downloaded the app and i'll sign in on there but in the meantime i'm going to go and uh accept those invitations that we've been uh, sent out to those two addresses so give me a minute i'll go and accept them uh, i'll go and turn that other nvr off so it goes offline and then we'll um come back and show you the app functionality so stay tuned using the phone app there's me and my dog open up the app so we've got two ways of doing this so the height connect app itself so again that webinar at dvs.co.uk uh, i registered uh, that would have sent a link to the customer he registers through the normal height connect pro uh, app downloads it and registers it then once you log into the height connect pro using that email address it will ask you to agree um, to accept the incoming device connections that the pro connect installer has shared with you so you can see two devices there um you've got the one is offline because i turned it off to show the device exception after five minutes and i've got the uh the other standard nvr same functionality as the standard um height connect platform it's just shared through the, the pro account again you've got live view playback alarm notification etc um very very straightforward you can share again bloody bloody blah so the service in use is height pro connect and again, it tells you the site and et cetera that it's shared through. Uh, very straightforward. And again, you've got playback and that. So two devices, but again, you do that based on, uh, you know, your uh, permissions and devices. Site management, again, click on that and you can give you this installer details. Uh, click details and it'll give you the, the details there. So it's really simple to use. Uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? So, so that's the height connect um, method of doing things. If you want, you can also do this. So I can go into the height pro connect as the installer. So I'm the installer logged in here and I can do a lot of the services through here. Again, exception, like I said, that's the exception It's offline now. So I've got um, through the app, it'll tell me, I got my sites there two devices, one's offline, abnormal, linkage rules, exceptions. So you can do a lot of stuff through the actual app itself. Um, you know, or I find it easy to do for the web portal, if I'm completely honest. But again, the app, so you can use the Pro Connect app itself, or you can actually use the um, share it to the height, the standard Height Connect app itself. So really straightforward. The next thing um, I'll just show you is the co-branding, where I did the co-branding. So I've got the Height Pro uh, account here plus the high connect app and i'll just show you the the uh co-branding one so give me two seconds okay so one thing i wanted to sort of run through quickly with you um to, so there's an added benefit which is a bit of an oversight on my part apologize is um if i go to site uh, there's a couple of ways of using this but if i add a new site so i just added this test site and i haven't invited an owner but if i click on um invite owner once you've added a device to this account you can actually say so you give the email of the owner or a generic email that the, the users on that site will use to log into the high connect app itself but you can actually configure the uh, system information and configuration so on the devices you add you can actually give them permanent access to live view and device configuration or you can invite it to permission based so you the devices in here you select a permission based and give it a remark there what happens then is um on the actual site itself for me as an installer 
I have to click apply for permission for configuration permission or live view permission. So I have to click on I haven't because I'm testing it myself. I'd have to click apply for live view permission. Now, if I just selected this to permission based, it would request on the app of the end user that I am able to view or configure their device. So they know that I'm viewing it and configuring it. So you've got that safety net there. So it's a really, really nice added benefit to that. Um, there's, I'm guessing lot, there's a lot of different ways you can set this up and um, it can be as easy or as complex as you like in reality. But what I will show you now, again, just uh, open my phone quickly. Okay, so log into the device again. And again, go to the Height Connect Pro app there. So I can actually view as the installer. So I've got my sites down there. So a different app. And I've got my linkage rules, exceptions, and I can actually manage you can actually see the devices here, you know, on the fly kind of thing through the actual account, uh, the Pro Connect account, and you can sort of do the configuration, etc. So again, gives you a nice portal as the installer or the site manager, depending on the role that you assign. Or again, the end user specifically would then use the Height Connect app here. So again, we got that dual branding or the co-branding there. And again, just logging in with the uh, details like before. And that gives you your assigned devices. So technically, the site owner or the site users, the users of the site can use the same login on the app. And then you can actually get all the permissions that you've, uh, you know, sort of gave them before. So it really is sort of as simple as that. Hopefully, um, that makes complete sense to you. Um, Go oh, there, log out. And again, it's as simple as that. So hopefully that's made complete sense to you. Um, it's probably raised more questions than answers, but I guess what I'll do is also offer a webinar on this to sort of better explain the functionality. Other than that, I hope you understood it a little bit more. Any questions, please give our sales team a call or drop us a message, comment on the thing, especially if you want to win one of those crimping tools. Have a great day and we'll speak to you very soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe, like, share, etc. See you soon. Thank you.